There's been talk about a town and country divide in New Zealand, but is it real? I grew up in both town and country New Zealand, so I understand them both well. And I would say that town and country care about exactly the same things. We are a small country with only 5 million people, but we are a country with a big heart and a proud tradition of number 8 wire thinking. I drove a tractor as a kid as well. Farmers protesting government legislation. Of course I just want to get their voices heard. I do not accept any suggestion of a rural urban divide. What I accept is that we have national challenges. I went to a country primary school where all the kids, big and small, got together at lunchtime to play Bull Rush. Then I attended three different high schools in New Zealand's biggest city in Auckland, where you didn't know most of the teachers, let alone the kids. What I've found is that folks in both town and country fundamentally have the same concerns. She says that, oh yeah, we're right behind the primary industries and all the rest, and then you turn around and she starts stabbed you in the back, so. We have the facilities. We have done it in the past. Awesome place to work. Yeah, man. Yeah. Until it snows. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Blows, it's a little bit cold. Blows a gale. Well, to be Southland's Member of Parliament is the opportunity of a lifetime. With the buzzing urban metropolis of Queenstown, the close-knit communities of Clyde, Gore, Arrowtown, Alexandra, Roxburgh, Lumsden, Tiano, Winton and Matola, just to name a few. The rolling hills and passes of West Otago. Yep. And everything in between. Yeah, every time I drive through past your office in court. Yep. <laughs> Southland embraces all the very best of urban and rural New Zealand. Auckland is home to one and a half million people. Christchurch, 380,000 odd. But New Zealand's second biggest population by a long stretch is in rural New Zealand, which has 700,000 folks. So what do folks care about? Well, folks in the country want their kids to have quality teachers and safe schools. So do folks in town. Folks in town want a reasonably priced warm home to live in and the opportunity for their kids to be able to buy their own home. Folks in the country want the same. Folks in town want to look after the environment they live and work in to ensure they leave a better place for their kids. Country folks want the same. Folks in the country want healthy drinking water yeah, 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 yeah. and clean streams for their kids to swim in. Folks in town want that too. Folks in the country want access to good health care, whether that be maternity services, a GP, cancer screening, mental health support, or other specialists. Folks in town want the same. In the country where everything is a car drive away or more, digital services are more and more important. And COVID-19 is pushing the necessities online. Number eight wire thinking has never been about the wire. They were pioneers. Crazy dreamers. Crazy dreamers, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Made it happen. But what innovative Kiwis did with that wire that no one else had thought of. We need to bring that innovative thinking to solve the combined challenges that face New Zealand right now. Our primary sector works because of both our rural and urban communities. And we need your help. Well, that's, that's what I mean. <laughs> we must brave a rapidly changing geopolitical environment in our Indo-Pacific backyard as the world grapples with how to respond to climate change on a planet that is said to need more food in the next 40 years than in all of human history combined. We're a small country with huge challenges. That's why we need to celebrate number eight wire thinking to build our shared future. I can't understand that the one source fits all doesn't work, you know? My You're grandma, eight yeah. years old, get up and milk this one cow into a bucket. I have two children, Laura and Michael, and they were both born in Lumsden Maternity. Uh, my vision is to connect the shared values and the shared ambition of rural and urban New Zealand. I'm Joseph Mooney, I'm a Member of Parliament for Southland, 